Sanya Mirza is a phenomenal athlete who has inspired a whole new generation of young women to play tennis in her native India. A lot harder to come out as professional, especially tennis players from that side of the world because of the fact that that is not um, the um, national sport, so to say. I mean, cricket is, and it, cricket kind of takes over, I think, most sports over there. When I was younger, um, I remember we could barely fill draws with, like, you know, under 14 and under 16. And, I mean, now you have turnouts of, like, 500, 600 kids for under 10 tournaments. Now, for years and years, tennis simply wasn't accessible to young Indian women. But Sanya's rise to the world stage is changing the way the country perceives tennis. How exciting is it to see her play here? Oh, really, really exciting. As a young Muslim woman playing the sport, Mirza has faced criticism from some ultra-conservatives over wearing skirts and shorts. But through it all, she has carried herself with class. I don't think it's just actually the Muslims, um, you know, Muslim community, but I also think there's a lot of the other communities in India that also don't prefer their, prefer their uh, daughters playing in skirts and shorts. So it's not just the Muslims, I mean, as it's portrayed. So, But the fact is that, um, like I said, I think religion to me, I mean, I'm a practicing Muslim, but to me that's very personal and, you know, that's just my choice and everyone has their own choice and uh, I choose to play tennis and but I also choose to pray. It's this candid and open attitude that has won the hearts of millions. For many of her fans in the Indian American community, this is their first time seeing Mirza play in the D.C. area. She's India's number one and it's, uh, it's uh, just fortunate that we are here at the same time and we are able to see her uh, in such close quarters and see her play. In College Park, Sonia Shirvasva for CTV News.